this came, it came around in the 70s. So soul was the, the black music of the US, right? And it was getting involved in, in Trinidad, and they started to hear it, and they're like, well, we're going to make our, our sort of blend of those two styles. And that's what's where Soka came from. Okay, now Soka is still the most popular music in Trinidad, except uh, if you listen to the radio in Trinidad, you'll hear most either Soka, you'll hear uh, cricket on the radio, you know, the, the game cricket, uh, and which is very popular there, or soccer sometimes, or you'll hear American light rock, <laughs> which they're okay. really into. Like, oh yeah, they love, you know, Whitney Houston. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, man, they're all about it. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's all, it's all over the ring in there. Yeah. So they do, like, speaking radio terms, they do, like, dance hall and, like, reggaeton and that stuff, too, like... Yeah, although, you know, know to a, a limited extent, I mean, there's, uh, you can, you can do any sort of style on, on steel rocks. I mean, it's not limited to, to this. In fact, um, uh, you know, this, uh, this week is a busy week, I'm playing on two university concerts as a guest artist on steel drums, and we're playing all sorts of different styles, some jazz, um, some uh, some calypso, and then in another week and a half, I'm going to LA and playing a piece that was composed for steel drums by a new composer, you know, so it's kind of, it, it, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it's, it's really uh, happened that all sorts of music are, is being, are being written for this. You also hear classical transcriptions done by, by the, the bands in, in Trinidad, and they don't read music for the most part, okay? So you have somebody who goes around and, and teaches, you know, one person and says, okay, here's, here's the first note. Okay, and then you go, okay, wait, let me try that again. And then they try it, right, and they teach one guy, and then that one teaches person teaches another one, and then teaches another one, and then by the time it gets, it's like the telephone game, right? So by the time it gets to the fourth or fifth person, they have it all wrong. They're playing like, <laughs> I got it, you know? And then, and then the, the second leader comes back around and says, what are you doing? And then they yell at each other and argue for a while, and then eventually most of them get most of the notes, you know? And, and that's, that's the way the steel rum tunes are learned for the most part. Now there are a few bands now uh, just in the last few years where there's at least one person in the section who reads, and so the, the person who writes the tune now will give them a sheet. So that so they save that step. And then that person can read the sheet and play the, play the part off the sheet and then play it for another player. So they have a, a, a working reference so it doesn't evolve, you know, which it can, can typically do. Um, I should show a little bit of this video and then talk about uh, Trinidad. 